You're watching Biz Lounge, where we have Batu Keswani of Lemon Tree Hotels with us. But before we begin our chat, here's a look at Batu's lighter side. Batu and I met in Calcutta, and I met him while he was at IM Cal, but we, you know, we were just friends and we met through some common friends. I think within a year of meeting, we, uh, we decided to get married. We have um, two children. The first one is Aditya, who is uh, now 21, and he's uh, studying in the US, he's in NYU. We have a daughter named Naina, who is the, the younger one, and she's finishing her A-levels in the UK right now. I'm at home. I love reading. I love reading history and science fiction specifically. I have about 3,000 books at home. I have read them all. And I think uh, my family has thrown out another 5,000 which I've also read. We drink a lot of chai. So we start our day with chai and we end our day. That's one thing we have in common. And we all eat a lot of cheese in this house. So you'll always see some cheese being brought, some different types of cheese. Unfortunately, lots of cheese is available in India today. So if anyone's traveling, what the Keswani family will always ask for is cheese. You know, in my attempt to give up smoking, I've tried to do uh, yoga. I do it twice a week. I'm really enjoying it. And I, I'm amazed that, I, uh, that it is so different, you know, to, to what I thought it was. Read the newspaper together. We do that. <laughs> hmm? okay. No, let's be clear. You read the papers, I have to listen. No, that's not true. <laughs> Can we pretend to cook together? We really yeah. don't. No, we really don't. <laughs> we don't. She doesn't know how to cook either, by the way. How about arm wrestling? Mm? Punjab. Do you do that? <laughs> yeah. We settle um... disputes very amicably. <laughs> I think he's a very personable person. Um, he he's an Aquarian, so he makes friends very very easily. Loyalty is something which is very big on his agenda. I see that as a very, very fine quality in him. Tell us what kind of student you were during your days at IIT Delhi and IIM Calcutta. I was very conscientious mm -hmm. in avoiding work. <laughs> so IIT was my first experience of cooperative functioning, collaborative functioning, which is that we were a gang of six or seven, seven guys. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to study together and one would teach the other six because the other six knew nothing about that topic. <laughs> so in that, you know, therefore, I'm an expert in one seventh of uh, my, my, my topics in IIT. Mm. It was a wonderful time. It made us independent. Mm -hmm. It made us savvy. Yeah. Uh, and it pulled us from the, the, the apron strings of our mothers, okay, because we were all equally young. Uh, I am was uh, less intensive in terms of all this, you know, academic competitiveness. But I remember two things, which is I had a ponytail. And it was that one period in my life when I had a lot of, I had no accountability and no responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I guess when I started Lemon Tree and I started growing my ponytail, it was some subconscious desire to go back to my college days. Mm -hmm. You know, midlife crisis, I told you. <laughs> Tell us how you came up with the names of your hotels, Lemon Tree and Red Fox. Uh, you know, when I was at A.D. Kearney, I found that when companies acquire other companies, uh, there is a cost uh, incurred in the acquisition post the merger, mm -hmm. or post the acquisition, which is name change, you yeah. know, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. I was very clear that anything I did, that if tomorrow I sold my company, mm -hmm. uh, it should not cost much to, to acquire in terms of uh, name change and so on. Mm -hmm. So it should be a sufficiently international name. Sure. Mm -hmm. That was the first issue. And the second was that I uh, didn't want people to feel that it's, it's Patu's hotel or Kiswani's hotel or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what about Red Fox? Well, my daughter, uh, uh, you know, she's, she's very creative and artistic. So she started, when she used to look at me, she thought I was a fox. I don't know why. <laughs> Got to ask her. And I, my complexion turns red in the sun. Mm. So she used to call me Carrot Top or Red Fox. Mm. So Carrot Top, I felt, was not a good name for a hotel. Mm -hmm. So it was Red Fox. <laughs> we also read somewhere that you tried your hand in acting in plays. You didn't tell me that the show would include covering nightmares. Okay, so this is like, I think I was in the third or fourth. 
Oh. You should put me on a couch when you ask me this question. But anyway, I was put in front. My sisters were very accomplished actresses. So they put me in front of a stage. Unfortunately, if I remember right, I was a girl in that. Okay, <laughs> And uh, I, I was put there and that's where I remained. I couldn't say anything. I was frozen, paralyzed. I resembled a, a large rabbit. Mm -hmm. And after that, I swore I would never, never go in front of an uh, uh, audience again. Uh -huh. So that was my only experience in acting. Though my, my sisters claim that I'm a... Uh, I act in real life, but I can assure you that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> so if you weren't a hotelier, what would you be doing? I'd love to be a professor. Hmm. I'm still trying to be one, mm -hmm. okay, although I'm a hotelier. What would you like to be teaching? I'd love to teach history. That's a passion for me. I love history. Mm -hmm. I also love philosophy and I love mathematics. So mm -hmm. they're kind of related. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your greatest achievement so far? I think it is to help provide livelihood to people mm -hmm. with dignity. Is there a story behind your name where you named after Patanjali. someone? Yeah. Yeah, my dad, he was a very unusual man. So Patanjali was a yogi. He wrote the Patanjali Yoga. And he, he named me, I don't know where he discovered this name from, I never asked him. And he named me this and I remember when I was 18, uh, he put his thumb and forefinger, both of them on my cheeks and said, uh, you know, you should be now like Gautama Buddha. And I told him that dad, you know, what does this mean? And he said, you should be celibate and whatever. Mm. And uh, it was not obviously an answer that I expected <laughs> I mean, from my father at the age of 18. Now that you ask me, I would really have actually like to know why he did this to me because I had to change my name very fast in class four because my, call, my, my fellow students used to, the minute they saw me, they would scream, patang udao huh. or jali khao, some crazy <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> and Pathu was the result of of great fear. <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody was to make a movie about your life, mm. what celebrity would you hope would play you? Anthony Hopkins. He made a very good serial killer in Hannibal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> well, we're out of time, but it was really great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time on Biz Lounge.